Okay, uh, here's my review on uh, the 2015 Dodge Diesel Crew Cab 4x4. You can see my mileage I'm going uphill right now. And my mileage will drop some. The reason I bought this truck is because of that fuel mileage right there. I mean, come on. This is a 4x4 truck, half ton, getting that kind of fuel mileage. Yes, people will talk trash about it being about a second slower than the EcoBoost. Which, you know, good for you. If I wanted to buy a truck for speed, or if I wanted speed, I would go pull out that 69 Camaro. It's got a 454 blown engine in it that I wish I had. <laughs> but with this truck, I can use my car hauler. I can load... Uh, vehicles if I buy a car go pick it up or I can hook on to our 22 foot crown lines with the 350 engines and go to the lake and still get 13 14 miles to the gallon I mean um, I guess I'm putting this video out because of the simple fact that I get all these I see all these comments on the F-150 EcoBoost and really all they can really say is it's got an aluminum body I'm going downhill here and I'll be going back up and um, it's a second faster that's fine now I I, if that's something that you got to capitalize on, you know, so be it. But look at this interior. Look at this touchscreen. I mean, the truck is awesome. It has space like you wouldn't believe. You know, awesome features. Me personally, I wouldn't want an aluminum body. I want to be able to take my truck wherever I need to to get it repaired. Oh yeah, um, speaking of fuel mileage, check this out. Right there, if you notice, I've got miles that I've traveled already and 342 miles to empty 41 do the math that about 570 I have 60 something that's why I bought this truck and uh, honestly if you want to get down to it, um, you can do a hot tune, you know, or throw Banks programmer on it, and you're gonna get right back up. You're gonna gain that second or more. And then, then what are you left with? I mean, what can you say then? You know, I can spend three, four hundred bucks and have it. But I got this so I could pull, tow, and when I go on vacation, I'm getting this gas mileage in a pickup, crew cab, full size. Come on, guys. You know, I had the 03 Dodge Cummins. 
and it was freaking insane. 5.9, I had it bully dogged out, straight pipe all the way to the back, no catalytic converter, no muffler, bully dog, cold air intake, and uh, it was just freaking insane. Here, I'm out here in the country. Let me show you a little something here. Let me tilt this down. Okay. All I've done is turn the uh, traction control off. I'll get a little idea of what this thing can uh, can do. Okay. Here we go. Put the gear there. That just happened. We lost a few miles there. My wife's gonna kill me if she sees this video. So, um, yeah, for a little V6, I'd say it's got plenty of kick. You know? You can sit there and smoke both tires for that long. I mean, the thing got sideways, you know? It's just, I don't know if you guys can see it there, but things are kind of hard to keep on the road. That's what this thing can do. It's, it's pretty sick. I like the truck, I like what it is, to each his own. But uh, yeah, somebody posted a video. Let me see the, uh, I'd like to see the EcoBoost uh, burn the tires for over over a block. I mean, I just did that, and it's it's a good 250-300 feet at least. And that's because I locked it in fourth gear. I didn't want to uh, go any further. What? It is what it is. I mean, I think if you power saw this thing out, hold it up, not where you're burning out, jam on it, go down the road, you could probably see what it'll do. But, uh, since we're making a video, let's go ahead. I don't have a stopwatch on me because I have my phone, obviously, here. We can do a zero to 60. Let me turn this up to the miles per hour there. As soon as you guys see it turn, start your stopwatch. This is what I mean by doing this. I'm not power saw, I'm not screwing the tires. And we'll see what zero to 60 time is. And then first shits and grins, we'll just keep going. And this truck is bone stock. I haven't changed the air filter. I mean, just from the factory into my hands. And that's it. I haven't done anything else to the truck. It's just, it is what it is. And I love it for what it is, man. I mean, it's, I think the truck is awesome. It looks like about 106. About all she's gonna do. And uh, I'll show you the truck. What it looks like. For those of you that you know want to know. And I'm not bashing the Ford. Don't get me wrong. 
all we have at work is Ford pickups and they are freaking tough they take a beating oh. let the leaf springs on these things oh, correct that coil springs on the back I think so makes it <laughs> 